Welcome to Z Code System and our latest video here on YouTube, where this week we're going to talk about the Champions League and the picks for March 10th and 11th. Coming up this week as the Champions League last 16 rolls on and we look at the second leg matches for all four games that will take place this week. And well, I apologize. We will take a look at two of those games here on our video and you'll be able to go to the blog and read up about all four of the games there and get those picks. Now, this week's games are going to be affected by the coronavirus, which is spreading uh, to various areas in Europe, Italy, and Spain right now, and France looking at uh, the virus there. That is going to cause some problems and some issues with the games that are taking place uh, in those countries at the moment. So we're going to take a look a little bit at that and how that is going to affect those games. Now, before we go any further, let me direct you over to the blog where you can find all the great information we there where we post pics and other information that you can read up on. And right there, you can see the blog in which you can read about all four of the matches coming up this week. And as well as you can scroll through and you can find all kinds of other great picks, uh, such as the March 6th NHL picks that happened uh, last week, but you can you know, find those every time that we post and you can follow everything on social media as well. And you can read up on the other things such as our 1.8 million euros in profit uh, happening with uh, Z code system and the different blogs there. So guys, let's get onto these picks. And one of the tools that I'm going to direct your attention to this week, it's a great tool at Z code system that you can use to bet on these Champions League games this week, and that is the Soccer Buddy tool. Now, you can get this at the VIP Club and go to the VIP page, and you can find the Tools section, and you can locate the Soccer Buddy, and this will give you some great info on your betting and some great picks for that. And you can also find out what the Soccer Buddy tool is and how it works by watching the video that we have there. And you can also scroll through all the various leagues that are covered by the Soccer Buddy. So I've got the Champions League pulled up here. So I'm just going to scroll through and let you take a little look at the games for March 11th, which is Borussia Dortmund and Paris Saint-Germain and the game at uh, Atletico Madrid versus Liverpool. So you can see there the different um, predictions and picks that have been made by the Soccer Buddy tool. Now, let's get over to the games that I want to talk about today and you'll get some more information and some, uh, some picks for these fixtures. Okay, so we're going to look at the two games that are coming up on March 11th, which is Wednesday. And the first game of the two games is going to be Borussia Dortmund going to Paris to play Paris Saint-Germain. Now, this game is going to be played behind closed doors. Fans will not be allowed into the stadium to watch the game due to the coronavirus Uh Paris uh, authorities do not want uh, the German fans to be coming uh, over and um, mingling with the Parisian fans and vice versa and the possibility of the virus being spread. So this game will be played to zero fans. The only way to watch it will be on TV. So this is going to make for an eerie atmosphere at the Parc des Princes there in Paris. And I think that that is going to play into the hands of Borussia Dortmund. And I see that the Score prediction there is 2-1 to Paris Saint-Germain, but I think playing to an empty stadium is going to negatively affect the Paris side. Now, these two teams in the first leg played in Dortmund. That game was won by Borussia Dortmund 2-1 in a very good game, a game that saw Erling Haaland score twice for Borussia Dortmund in the second half. Neymar scored in the second half for Paris Saint-Germain. Now, PSG have not... Sorry, PSG did not lead the game at any time when they played in the first leg and uh, were on the back foot for most of the match. Dortmund played very well defensively and they took their chances and scored when the opportunities arose. One of the things about this match is, and one of the stats that you can't ignore, is PSG have not 
made it past the last 16 in the last three seasons. So this is their fourth try to make it past the last 16. This is an, a team that underachieves massively. They spend a lot of money. They have a lot of great talent. Kylian Mbappe and Neymar, two of the best players in the world. But they don't step up when it counts, especially Neymar. He's very guilty of not stepping up when it counts. Last season, he missed uh, the Champions League uh, knockout stages due to injury. He's back this year, but he didn't play much of a factor in that first game, though he did have a goal. Uh, he he and Mbappe were pretty much anonymous as uh, Dortmund were able to get that win. Now, we see the score prediction here for 2-1. If the game did finish 2-1 with Paris Saint-Germain winning that game, we would see extra time because the aggregate score would be 3-3 uh, between the two sides. Now, I'm going to disagree with this prediction because I thought Dortmund were so good in that first game, and I think they're going to win this game. They are in form. They have a fantastic striker in Erling Holland, who they signed in January from Red Bull Salzburg, and they also have a fantastic winger in Jaden Sancho. They're playing very well right now on the domestic front, and again, I think that they're going to pull off a bit of a shock here by beating PSG. And being that PSG continue to uh, fail at the last 16, I'm going to go ahead and stick with that trend that they're going to lose to Borussia Dortmund and be eliminated from the tournament with Dortmund moving on to the quarterfinals. So my score pick, um, I'm going to go with over 2.5 goals in this one and both teams to score but Borussia Dortmund pulling out a big win to move on to the quarterfinals. Now, again, that game is going to be played behind closed doors. Now, let's take a trip over to Merseyside in England and see Liverpool taking on Atletico Madrid. So I'm just going to click on the drop-down menu here. And as you can see, we've got quite a few games going on uh, around the world on Wednesday night, but none bigger than Atletico Madrid and Liverpool. And this will be played at Anfield. And in the first leg, we saw Atletico Madrid win 1-0 against Liverpool, ending Liverpool's fantastic unbeaten run that they were on. Now, that goal that Atletico Madrid scored through Sal, uh, Sal Nunez, that was a scrappy goal. Uh, Liverpool failing to clear a corner and allowing Atletico Madrid to score the only goal of the game. Neither team created very many chances in this one. It was a poor game all around for Liverpool, and that uh, should not happen in this game. Now, Liverpool do have some injury issues going into this. Goalkeeper Alisson Becker, he's going to miss the game. He's uh, injured. Uh, he's got a muscle injury going into this. But the good news is Captain Jordan Henderson should be back, and left back Andy Robertson should be back as well. So Liverpool will benefit from having them back. They've been in a bit of a slump lately, and a lot of that, in my opinion, has to do with Henderson's absence. Uh, they do have a very capable goalkeeper who is going to stand in for Allison, and that's Adrian, who helped Liverpool win the UEFA Super Cup earlier this season when Allison was injured at that point. So Liverpool have a lot to do here. A 1-0 win for Liverpool will only force extra time. So a 2-0 win for Liverpool will see them through to the quarterfinals. Again, Liverpool won this tournament last season, and the season before that, they finished as runners-up to Real Madrid. They have a lot to do. Atletico Madrid, they are not the best team going forward, though they do have very capable goal scorers in Schwa Felix, Diego Costa, and in uh, Alvaro Morata, who Liverpool should be very familiar with from his time with Chelsea. Madrid or Atletico Madrid are going to come and they're going to pack 11 players behind the ball and attempt to hit Liverpool on the counterattack. We know that they're going to play defensively. Liverpool are going to have a lot of the ball in Atletico Madrid's uh in, in Atletico Madrid's half of the field, and they're going to have their chances to score. It's just if they can break this team down. I believe Liverpool can and will win this game. I think it will be under 2.5 goals in this with both teams not scoring, but I find Liverpool, I believe Liverpool will pull out this win just as they did last year when their backs were against the wall against Barcelona at Anfield in the semifinals of the tournament. Anfield is magical, and it will rise to the occasion. Now, fans are allowed at this game right now. Uh, recent reports in the UK was 200 and I believe 80, 280 confirmed cases of coronavirus. So they're not worried at the moment about groups congregating at sporting events. And so sports is going to continue to, um, you know, big events are going to be continue to be held. So 
right now, fans will be at the game. I think Liverpool are going to come through with this and win this game and, in the end, move on to the quarterfinals once again. Now, guys, you can go over to the blog and you can get the other two picks for this week for Tuesday night's games, March 10th, and those picks are for the games between Valencia and Atalanta, which will be played behind closed doors, and for the Red Bull Leipzig and Tottenham Hotspur game, which will be played in Germany. So you can go over there and get those picks on the blog and get all your great betting information there. And also use the Soccer Buddy tool to help you make educated picks when you wager this week on the Champions League. Guys, please like and subscribe to the Z Code System page if you want to get more great picks of our videos on football, on MLB, on NBA, NHL, and the NFL season when it kicks back off. So you guys can subscribe and like our videos and you'll be able to get those whenever those publish, those videos publish. And don't forget to check back with the blog. So guys, we will see you soon. And we hope you have a great time this week betting on the Champions League. Good luck and goodbye.